So as you can see here, the interface for Explandio is very straightforward. It's got a series of slides up in the timeline there, and then it's got your scene preview as you're working with the software where you can easily see what the outcome of the video is going to look like. You're going to be able to preview it within live time as you work on your project. Uh, so the preview screen is nice and big and it's easy to view. Uh, so if you want to add a new slide, it's very easy to do. You go down, you select the slide pack. Uh, from the slide pack, you select all the different slides that you want to add in and you can add in a single slide that easily and then you can customize that slide by going over and customizing the text options. Uh, so there's a few options here to customize it, uh, including font family and size. And as you can see here, it does create an additional slide past uh, the last slide. So you can add that in sequence. And when you do export the slides, you have a whole bunch of options here. You can go up to 920 times 1080 HD. And you can also have the ability to watermark. So if you do have a PNG file, you can watermark. Also video quality, you've got some options here for perfect, excellent, and good. Uh, so that's gonna affect the size, the output size. So in general, the output size of Explandio videos are fairly small. Uh, so they are uh, easily to upload to online sites such as YouTube. Uh, here we've got the audio settings where you can add in the voice. So if you want to do a voiceover, uh, you can select voice and you can do a recording right over the presentation as well as if you wanted to add in music. It's got some default audio files here that you can select and you can add those in. So you can add in music as well or audio uh, voiceover very easily.